A nurse can differentiate angina pectoris from a myocardial infarction by assessing the characteristics of the patient's chest pain and related symptoms. Angina usually lasts less than 15 minutes, while pain from a myocardial infarction typically lasts more than 20 minutes and may continue for much longer. Angina pain improves with rest or after taking nitroglycerin, but pain from a myocardial infarction does not improve with these measures. The nature of the pain is also different. Angina often feels like pressure, tightness, or squeezing, and tends to be predictable for patients who have a history of stable angina. Pain from a myocardial infarction is usually more severe and may be described as crushing, heavy, or unlike the patient's usual chest discomfort. Associated symptoms can help the nurse distinguish the two. Angina may cause mild shortness of breath, but myocardial infarction often includes nausea, vomiting, sweating, significant shortness of breath, dizziness, or a feeling of extreme anxiety. Diagnostic findings also help. In angina, ECG changes are temporary and return to normal when the pain resolves, and cardiac biomarkers such as troponin remain normal. In a myocardial infarction, ECG changes such as ST elevation or persistent ST depression occur, and troponin levels rise because of heart muscle damage. Pain patterns are important as well. Angina is usually triggered by activity, stress, cold exposure, or heavy meals, and goes away when the trigger stops. A myocardial infarction can occur at rest with no specific trigger. In summary, brief chest pain, relieved by rest or nitroglycerin with normal troponin levels, suggests angina, while prolonged and severe pain that does not improve and is accompanied by ECG changes or elevated troponin, suggests a myocardial infarction.